Hello guys, good morning. Yay, it's Sunday. The day we're supposed to relax and chill, but I have been working since 7 a.m. Um, for those of you in different time zones, that's been three hours of work. And yay, I have more to do after this. But um, yeah, you know, that's the life of running your own business, as uh, Edward keeps reminding me. <laughs> He reminds me to take hours of time to myself and try to work up to days. So we'll see. Hello, welcome, Darkwing, Gizmo, Comet Lore. Everybody, good to see you. Um, I am glad to see that the bot is working and I think maybe if we have a Be Right Back break, you'll be able to see some pictures. I hope I got that fixed. It's still acting kind of wonky. I had to add the files individually to the list instead of just sharing the directory with Streamlabs OBS. So, eh, whatever. Anyway, today, today I think I want to get into some building and... Since I don't have a whole lot of time on my hands to do any resource gathering or heavy grinding between streams, and that to me is something that feels really, feels to me boring to watch. Like, gee, let me just collect 10 stacks of purple blocks and 100 stacks of ends. It just sounds really boring. Not anything against people who stream that way. They usually have a lot more people watching them, but whatever. I thought, since this is my world, we would do all of the building of structures and landscape, you know, anything to make things pretty that is not progression breaking in creative mode with a couple of rules. Just because I'm, I'm all about rules. <laughs> Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to switch to creative mode, but only allow creative building of any blocks that I currently have access to. So if there's anything that I can currently make in survival mode at my level of progression in the, in the pack are the blocks I have available to me. Okay. Um, that's going to be the first rule. The second rule is if I want any tools, gadgets, um, any things that will carry over beyond the building, they must be crafted in survival mode first. And then I can use them in creative. Hermes, I know, I know you love when I'm talking to sit in my lap, but I can't, honey. So, yeah, we're gonna switch over to creative mode. I'm gonna lay down my block palette and we're gonna start building the, the building, building the building that will be storage room to start. Um, I have an idea for what I might wanna be able to do. Well, we're gonna take my bobble off there. Okay, everything's off. That was Hermes. <laughs> he climbed into my lap and now he's sitting at my feet going, that wasn't fair, I wanna be held. He likes to listen to me talk. And so whenever I start doing a whole bunch of talking, he wants to be in my lap while I do it. That's, that's the way he is. Um, Atlas is pouting at the moment. He has spent a half an hour in the bathroom because he has an issue with peeing everywhere that I have been trying my best to come to the root cause and resolve. Very, very trying very, very hard. Um, so far, I clean the litter box every day. And there are three litter boxes because I just don't have anywhere to put a fourth one. And yeah, apparently it's just, I don't know if he's still stressed out or uncomfortable or if the litter boxes just aren't once a day isn't enough for him. I don't know. It's really irking me. It's driving me insane because he'll do it with me right there. He'll just stand there and he'll be like, Oh, I see this towel. I'm going to pee on it. And I'm like, no. 
Uh, so yeah, we have the enzyme cleaners and I don't yell at him. I just pick him up and he spends he spends a half an hour in the bathroom. So, cuz cats don't not cats are not like dogs. If you have dogs, when you scold a dog, they understand for the most part that they've been bad and whatever they just did is the result. Of, cats don't have that understanding. Nope, not at all. All right, so what I would like to do, I definitely want to go with some of this design. I like the end stone, not necessarily the brick, all the brick, but I want to use purple because I've never built with purple in my entire Minecraft career. So we're going to have a pretty pink and purple area here, but I need to come up with an accent block. Something that's not pink and, and stone color, yellow and purple. And I'm thinking something like blue. Um, I don't know. I don't want black. There's too much black in the sky. So we're going to let's find a spot where I might be happy to have the block palette that's out of the way of the actually over here near this building. Um, does the burgundy wood have any variations? It does not. It does not. It is the um, worm. There. That's that's all it's got. It's just got the pink planks, and that's it. Um, there is chisel in the pack. Yes. So what we've got is let's switch this to true so I can pick. We have these available to us. All right, so those are the two of the wormwood. And then we also just got mineral and wisdom. So we're gonna get those written down, mineral. Um, and we could make use this. This is what I was thinking about with the blue. It might be too light colored. Um, but I really like the door that comes with mineral. Um, and then we have Wisdom, which is a dark oak looking plank. It has a really interesting door. And then it has some pigmented, what's the recipe for those? I can craft those. So let's pull one of those and let's take a look at these. All right, so this is what we've got for plank, for blocks. And then this is the planks. And then this is the special one with the gold trim. All right. And then we also have the crystal mineral blocks. And I wanted to show you guys this door. Oh. That's interesting. And then the mineral one is one I really like. I'll show you that one. I like the mineral one. Okay, so those are what we have so far. Then chisel is in here, so all of the purple. We have a bunch of variants of purple. I am just gonna pull one for now until we can decide what we're doing. Um And then end stone. Ooh, I like the big tiles. They look really smooth. Let's. Hmm. I agree on that gizmo. The wood looks better than the plank, especially next to these. Um, so there's that. Now I have decided, and I think I mentioned this yesterday, I want to build in a Japanese style. However, I want to give it some interest. Not that Japanese style isn't interesting, but there are, um, 
X tones in the black box in the pack. And while these cannot be chiseled or chisel and bit, I don't believe unless this has been changed. We'd have to use them as full blocks. There's some really fascinating ones that could give the builds a little bit of a mm, fan tech fantasy look. So you could kind of say that Japanese people came and built here, but it was more futuristic. And it could give us the darker toned block that I may be looking for, other than the wisdom wood which is brown um some of the ones i was looking at um where are they it was on the first page these here the corp yeah and Tyrion had well see i don't know if i want to do purple as i'm looking for um because I, I agree, I like Tyrion. I wonder if these are alphabetical. No, they don't look alphabetical. Maybe they are. They are. Hey, that'll help. I'm not seeing... Anyway. Ah, uh, see, but that's... No, I don't want black. Why am I... Ugh. Does any of these have connected textures? That would be interesting on a floor. Um... Nope. Uh, well, not quite the same colors as Yeah, see, I wanted, I'm thinking I want to incorporate something blue. Uh, I don't know if gold would be a color to work in there, but something silvery would be good. And if we did something silvery, isn't astral sorcery in this Maybe Astral Sorcery isn't in this pack. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't think so, now that I think about it. No. Um, we have the mineral, the liquid mineral. Remember, we used that in the Enigmatica 2, uh, Land of the Gods. We used that. So that's a thought that we have the liquid color. <laughs> the good news is, is we have Japanese paper walls in here from Chisel. So we could actually do paper wall. Liquid silver via tinkers, that's possible. Always possible. So there are paper walls, which might not look so hot with the end stone. All right, so let's think about. So my storage room is going to be rectangular. I haven't decided on dimensions, but, um, we look at the map. This is where we are right here. I would like to make it um, this direction. 
so it's gonna be rectangular and there's gonna be not much out back but we'll be able to you know maybe make roads going to these different areas and I want it to be up on a not a pedestal but I want it to be raised so that there are stairs leading up to the platform that the building is on and I'm actually considering just using stone variants for that um, just some stone brick and make it that kind of neutral so out of what we what I currently know I have available I also have dirt and grass and cobblestone so we have all the cobblestone variants I do not like these with the rest of the palette that we've well the, the rest of the potential options um I'd like to find one X-Tones block to use. Just something that is interesting and it might just be... Uh -huh. That would definitely be an interesting block with the purper. They have a slightly different toned one. Um, I like this one to that one. And f we could use glass. We have access to mana glass if we wanted to. Um, other things we have access to. First one's nice with purple, second nice warm wood. That's true, and that's not something I actually even looked at. This, we're not going to use that. Nope, nope, nope. Totally not anymore. Um, what is this one? Cray. Uh, uh that one, right? Yep. Okay, I'm beginning to not like that. Um, I like these two. And if we're looking at wood, hmm, that's probably going to be a no. And we'd use. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, so what I'm looking at this, the things I don't like, that. Yeah, the crystal is much nicer than the mineral wood if I were to use this in place of it. It's got, it's like a dirty look to it. And I'm not sure I need to use the chocolate color either. But I'm trying to decide which of these planks I would use. And I think... Hmm, I think I like the texture of the mineral wood. Just how much more textured. This one looks softer. Um, and I'm really now not liking the rice paper. It just, it stands out. We'd probably use end stone for anything where I would think, hey, it'd be nice to have the paper wall. Okay. No. No. Um, and then for Batania, do we have access to anything? Like, these would be awesome. If I have access to them, I do not. Okay. Um, we have living wood and living rock. Whoops. Living wood, living rock. Let's see here. Hmm. 
The living wood looks a little too red. Hmm. I like the living rock. And then uh, we have access to mana steel, but we would need to do a lot of mining. But there is mana steel. Let's see here. Don't have access to Dreamwood yet. Um, can't do any of the quartz. We could, we could work towards getting the metamorphic stone. If we find that one of them would work. Let's see here. Out of what's here. Oh, I think we have access to the pavement. Living rock, cobblestone, and gravel. We do. And out of these, the white one looks the nicest. Let's take a look. Hmm. All right. I like how this is starting to create a palette for us. The um, plan now is to kind of do, figure this out a little bit. The, all right, so the, the platform, the platform will be this, and we'll just, we're just gonna do that to start figuring out the pillars. Um, Go away. I mean, I don't want to make it look like Pepto-Bismol vomited all over the place, but I really like the looks of all of these purples. I will probably add the texture, but I'm just trying to figure it out. Yeah, okay, so I like the idea of having that sort of look. Now we would also want to do windows, but this could be the wall without windows. All right, and then it could be nice to do, I forgot how weird that sounds. Okay, so not so sure on that stripey look. Come to think of it, it might be kind of cool to do the roofs in the blue. Um,
you definitely see it from a long way off. Exactly. So if we did... It's not bad. Again, since some of these are chisel blocks, we can pick which ones we'd actually want to, to you know, what texture we would want. Um... Maybe some blue banners later to offset some color near the doors. Yep, that's possible. Um, <laughs> right now I'm trying to... This looks... <laughs> since this is just a mock-up, it's not... I'm just trying to see how colors might go together. I think I would be happier if we switched those two. And put the purple up here. See, and now I'm just not liking... One of my favorite purple blocks is the, the trodden bricks, because it looks... I just like the trodden bricks. <laughs> In any chisel variant, I have enjoyed the trodden bricks, and I don't quite know why. There's is one of these smooth. There is a smoothish one. Um for the top. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, cuz um Hmm. Don't like that. Yeah, the trodden did look nice. That's why I'm just trying other ones. Because it has just a slight bit of texture. Is it too much of the Portuguese pavement? Even though I like that it has that texture to it. Um, it gives you the illusion of the um, Japanese paper wall um, with the, you know, the grid. It gives you that illusion without actually having, um, without actually having the trapdoors on there. You know, the living rock brick. Mm -hmm. I think the challenge with the brick is that. Uh, I don't like that. Mm. Well, here's another thought. We do have chisel and bits in the pack. And we could pick a block like the Living Rock, which works really well because it has the pink and blue undertones to it. How do you add an item you see in the world in your inventory? Middle click of your mouse button. Okay, back to what I was saying. 
since I like the way Living Rock looks, it's got pinks and blue undertones, which work great for the idea that we're going with here. We could use chisel and bits to create the grid pattern from a block that we like. And yeah. And we also have access to glass, regular glass, some stained glass variants. Um, do, do, do. Yep, Valen does it a lot with his first looks. Yep, he does. We have access to the blocks in the Cidic Plains, which are over here. Let's fly over there. We have the cores for the purple. Um, we have the Acidic Plains over here. Let's see if any of these jump out at me going, yeah, build with that block. Currently, that's a no. These are really loud. Hmm. And the hawthorn is like cactus. I don't even know if it hurts you, but that's really loud, so I don't think so. I have to go raid that yet. I haven't been over there. Oh, and so you guys know when I do get back into survival, underneath these uh, planes is where there are spikes, and um, there's some. And in those spikes are where the diamonds are. Which is why I haven't gone diamond hunting. Here's some over here, too. <laughs> so, so, yeah, these spikes. There's some diamonds right there. Not easy to get to. And so, even with Elytra Flight, this, that's dangerous. Because we're down at Y12 right now. If I were to just not fly very well... Into the void I go. Now I do know that there's forgiving void and you don't actually like die. It throws you back up there. So that's at least a bonus. And maybe that's intended for when you get these to accidentally jump into the world and then end up back up on top or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah. Are there any other blocks, those of you who are builders, that you can think of that would be amazing to perhaps try to get for this color scheme that we're going for? And yeah, it's for people, some people, it's going to look relatively feminine and probably Pepto Bismol y. I haven't done a pink build since, uh, if you guys remember the um, Chisel and Bits uh, mansion that I was doing. Ah, uh, path to them. Good point, Comet Lord. <laughs> um. Yeah. Do do do. Environmental tech. We don't have access to environmental tech, but those are some pretty blocks. Um, void stone. That actually... Can we make void stone? No. Yes. With purper and ender pearls. And this has got purple really cool textures that could give us that futuristic look. Um... That... That has me a little on the uh, can we use it side of things. Let's take a look at it. Look at that. Yep, that's what I was saying, but the animated ones would help with making it um, look um, futuristic. Hmm, you guys, that is working really well with the wormwood and the cray, the two cray colors we picked out, even the Tyrion and the purple. Um, let's look at one of the animated ones. These are one of the animated. Um, 
What other ones? Metallic. Uh, is this a different recipe? No, it's just called the primal versions. Um, these ones with runes, I don't think I've ever really looked at. Huh. What's the difference between the regular and the primal for this? Ooh, more pink than purple. Wow, we could really have some fun doing a Japanese style with these blocks and these. Um, then the blue, the blue does not work if we do that. I don't like that. I actually like the ruined, but we can pick a different one. That's the same. Did I seriously pick up two? No, they just say purple gray. They look... They appear the same. <laughs> this one says lime. Okay, see now that looks different. I don't think I've used void stone in such a long time. I don't want skulls, no. What do the tiles look like? Ooh. Wool. Uh, the magenta. Ooh, I like this llama carpet. Does it connect? Kinda. Ooh! Okay, so it really does. That looks creepy! It's got Enderman eyes and the dragon head. What other one is in here that... I like this one? Oh, there's coal under there I'm gonna want. That's pretty. And very could lead very well to a you know a Jap modern Japanese futuristic Japanese. Um, no, couldn't tell from. I'm uh, not so sure about the pink. Primal's animated regular is not. Yeah, but it's also slightly a different color, because here's the primal void stone in metallic, and then this is the regular. I'm really liking the void stone. Chiseled obsidian. And we have access to that via the dragon that we haven't killed yet, and very little bits in each of the ships. Um, I'm not sure though if I want to use that uh, I don't, I'm not no uh uh I'm looking at it now and I'm not no no okay let's and these are probably a no too unless I used it in just like the individual ones with something else All right, so if we went this route with more of the void stone, um, and we made it look really fascinating, let's start over. Hmm. 
Um, you're right. I don't have access to them now, so we need to stick with the blocks that I currently have access to. That's that's one of my rules for cr the creative building is only blocks that I can make in game right now, just with a grind. And these are purple blocks and ender pearls, which we have an endless supply of. <laughs> Okay, so if I did that, and then I still would want to use this for, yep, and Hmm. Silver! Okay. These types of things could be an occasional... Actually, whoops. See, and now I'm thinking, the, seriously, we need color other than the purple and the dark, and I really like Living Rock. It's so pretty. But I'm wondering now if... Yes, it does. You are right. That's what's throwing me off as far as those supports I would probably be happier with. Hmm. What was that? We did these for that area. And then we could still use these, but they would be in pillars in the front of the building basalt i don't want to use anything black um what why am i so enchanted by this particular block I 
I really like the animated one. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm on 112. Yep. And we still have the problem of the roof. Which needs to have access to either doing a bunch of chisel and bits or I need slabs and stairs. So it needs to be a block that I can get those from and none of the chisel blocks I can do that with. So we're down to... Hmm. Well, I suppose we just keep thinking, right? Does this work instead of stone brick for the platforms? Um, the challenge with that is that the stairs would need to be a different block. Um, we, of course, have purple. Well, that's something I forgot about. We've got um, immersive engineering, which has uh, the treated wood. Probably wouldn't work so well because it's not pinkish. Um, we have some of the hempcrete, which we might have access to. Yes, we have access to hempcrete which I believe we can do slabs and that would give us a speed boost. Um, and it would prevent uh, So, if we did... Hmm. Yeah, that's not bad. As our stairs... That's not bad. Um, okay. So we need... Mm -mm -mm. I'm just, I'm just thinking here. No. so well with that color. What are you? Oh, can't make you. Can't make you. That would be really hypnotic though. Anything else we would want stairs, we would need to make with chisel bits. So there's our two options for stairs. The uh, metamorphic fungal stone, we would have to make the uh, marimorphosis flower. Which we can do, because these are just tier one runes and a bunch of petals with a redstone root. So this... If we decide to use fun the metamorphosis stone, we need to make this flower in survival. Because that's the rule. You make a tool in survival to be able to craft the block, use the blocks in 
in creative. That makes, that kind of gives me limits, you know? <laughs> I like these, but I don't like them. <sighs> I wish I could make up my mind. I've been, we've been at this for like 25 minutes. Oh, we've been at this an hour. Yeah, we've been at this a while. What would you do, Gizmo? Hmm? Because, oh. Just go all out with the void stone. No. Of course I didn't put a... Trodden... Brick one there. Go the Voidstone route, but you've got a thing for Voidstone in general. <laughs> I have never, I've not used it since the very first time I played with Thomcraft. Because Thomcraft is a very purpley looking, you know, does a lot of purple stuff. We do this though, that completely negates the use of any of the blue things we have here, because there's just no way that it would blue would go with this. Um, Alright, let's start with what we... yeah, so use inside. Exactly. Let's start with what we know we want to do, which is the Tyrian base. Uh, void stone, the recipe for void stone is purple blocks and ender pearls. So that's a craftable recipe for us, no problem. And then a chisel, which I might already have. I have to look. Um, the, uh... True, I, uh, there's a lot of ways I could incorporate blue into it, just not this building. All right, if we build the base in this Tyrion, guys, I need a stair and slab variant. And you can't do that with Tyrion. You can't chisel and bit them. So, <laughs> do we do the dark purple from the metamorphic stone or do we do the purple stairs? Both of these have slab and stair variants. I'm I'm leaning toward metamorphic. Well, the pack isn't really meant to be a builder's pack, so some of the builder's option stuffs aren't going to be in here. That's just the way that goes. All right, so I'm leaning towards metamorphic for the slab and stair variants for the base. We're going to put the building on, which means we need to go we need to make the flower. Let me write this down. We need to make the Marimorphosis. And we need to make sure we have a chisel to do the Tyrion blocks. Not that we're going to do it, but just so that if we were doing it in survival, that's what we would need. And then we can start building the base. Oh, I probably want a Builder's Wand. Um... There is building gadgets in here, but it requires power and we don't have an access to power yet. So I'm not going to make it until we actually have access to power and I'm not interested in trying to work towards power just to build right now. Okay. All right. So those are our things. We know what we're doing first. We're building a base. Let's uh, head back over here. Switch back into survival mode. How are we doing? Ooh, we can almost do our for our bit of um, progression with the Terra Steel. That's cool. 
Let's go up here to switch to survival mode. Grab our stuff. And put it on. Okay. And we're ready. That. There we go. All right, so let's see what we have for runes. We have the earth one. We need to make another fire rune. Um... <clears throat> Firewood, gunpowder, and dragon's breath. We have some dragon's breath, so we need to make the firewood, which we need the um, chunks. Do we have any? Did I grab, kill another one? There, we have one that we can smelt. No, we don't need a spell. We need to throw it in here. A chunk and then we can use um, it's a plank or a log I think it's a plank yep okay so there's the firewood and then I'm pretty sure yep we have the dragon's breath and so now we need gunpowder, and that is, there we go, flint, which we need to get flint, so we need cobble. Um, where's my bag? There's some cobble. Oh, no, don't go in there. Okay, so I did just jump on that without <laughs> there being one in there. And then this becomes flint, which then will become... gunpowder all right and so now we just need these things great uh, we need to make redstone root which is grass and redstone I know I have some grass. There we go. And then we just need the right petals. Let's put you in here. Red, green, yellow, gray. Red, green, gray, yellow. Do I have another red one? No. So we need to make... Uh, looking for bone meal. Do we have any bone meal? No. Mm, we have, we have, we have bone meal. Okay. Should make some mana shears. 
Maybe when these are dead, we'll do the mana shears. Um, grass. Over here. There. Now, that's just because I don't want to run out. Not because I need to make up a big bajillion supply yet. Alright. Green. Gray. Yellow. Okay. Oh, I already have water in there. Yay. Uh, yep, already. So do I have a seed down here? Do these work? Yay! Alright, so we have a Marimorphosis. That means if we place it down and we place stone down, it will convert it into variants of um, metamorphic stone. Um, I don't know why I did that. I have a... We're gonna just plunk her right here. Are you close enough? Must be. Oof. Why? I didn't look at anybody. I'll be so glad when I can get a Vinculotus. Oh. Okay. So let's just show you how this works in case you've not used this flower before. Do I have any stone? No, I need to smelt some stone. I do not have a chisel, so I'll need to make one of those. So here, if you had a whole bunch of stone, like if you placed it underground in the cave, it would convert all of it. But there you go, it made one. We got a mountain stone. And it's really fast. It uses a small amount of mana each time it creates one of the stones, and there are a lot of different variants. If you place it, like, in the overworld in different biomes, it, like, for example, if you're in a forest biome, you're more likely to get more of the forest variant than other variants, but that does not mean you won't get other variants. And so on and so forth. Desert, mountains, swamp, 